What's up peeps, how's it going? Dave here, and in today's episode we're going to be looking at sentry positions on Snowplow. Now as a fairly new official map, and a fairly complex map, I thought this would be a great candidate for one of these videos. So I've been having a lot of fun with this map, just exploring you know, new positions to build in. Uh, there's a lot of nooks and crannies to explore and I'm still learning all the time, so I'd love to hear if you guys have any suggestions for me. I've also started to use actual images of the map in this video. Uh, it helps illustrate exactly where I'm building and I also find them really interesting to look at um, because it gives you a kind of new perspective on the map and it helps give you a better understanding of how different areas of the map relate to each other. So this is the first snowplow map and it's fairly overwhelming when you look at it all at once so we're going to zoom into this bottom section. Now the attacking team will spawn in across the bottom here. The control point is at the very top of the map in the middle here and for this next clip I'm going to be setting up just left of the control point here. For this first position I'm setting up on this raised area just by the side of the point and I'm trying to make my base as discreet as possible so I'm just popping that dispenser behind that little barrier there. Uh, there's a supply of metal here so that's really useful to get your base up quickly. Putting this, um, the telly down in this corner here and my sentry is just balancing on this piece of wood here. Now the reason it's not facing the other way is because I'm trying to avoid uh, a line of sight from snipers and, and soldiers uh, from across the kind of valley here. It means I can leave my sentry uh, on its own as I go um, kind of looking through these corridors and I don't need to worry about you know it being taken out. So the sentry tends to deal with anyone on the point. Obviously here the scout has gotten past so I'm having to use my wrangler to take him out. Um, but yeah, any threats on the point uh, aren't normally a problem for this position. Uh, what you do need to focus on is this kind of right alleyway where you tend to get the odd uh, demo or soldier come down and they can cause a lot of, lot of problems. So what I do is, you know, I'm just taking care of the spy there, but I tend to use my usual tactic which is obviously take care of my sentry but as soon as it's all good um, take a look down that alleyway check if there's any threats coming um, distract them um, cause some damage just so I know what, what's coming what I've got to deal with luckily in this game here I've got a lot of um, teammates uh, around this area who have used my telly and have come to join me so it's apart from the, all this spy um, chaos uh, I'm getting a lot of um, support and um, it means we are able to hold this position for, for pretty much the entire duration of this first point. So yeah, now I've got all these people supporting me, you know, I can kind of let them, you know, take care of that right alleyway and I can just peek out each way, checking that, you know, no one's kind of doing anything to destroy my base. I think I was kind of fortunate in this game, for some reason the enemy team were going, there was a lot of scouts uh, and snipers and such, I think all they, all they really needed was a perhaps a, a medic and demo combo along this right alleyway and they probably could take me out especially if I haven't got, didn't have any team members with me at the time, uh, but yeah this is just an example of how well this position can do. The other positions I've tried are across the kind of valley there. I feel like that gets a lot of kind of pressure on it. Uh, and I've also tried kind of more aggressive positions, but uh, I think this is as aggressive you can go without um, getting destroyed fairly quickly. So for the second part of this map, uh, the control point is situated here and I tend to set up just across from it here. So this second position is a fairly standard one for engineers to be setting up at so I'm not going to spend too long talking about this. You tend to find people either on this little shelf here or sometimes within this area behind me here. I tend to favour the shelf, it means you can like attack enemies the moment they're coming around that corner and it has just a, a better reach. What I do tend to do though is I put my dispenser in this little doorway here 
That kind of helps with slowing down any spies and just means it gives you a chance to perhaps uh, try and take them out before they get to your base. It looks like I didn't do that very well because I can still sneak past. But um, once you've set up your sentry and your dispenser, I tend to put my um, teleporter fairly close to hand. It means that if a spy is sapping that from the spawn, it means you can really quickly get to it. Here a spy actually attacks me by climbing up the boxes, which is unusual, but um, kind of interesting to see. But as there's such little room to manoeuvre in here, it makes his life really tricky you know, to try and get behind me and take out the sentry in a, in a quick succession. So yeah, pretty solid position. Can't really fault it, and I've not found a better one around this area yet. So for the last part of this map, I've actually broken it down into two parts and we're going to start by looking at some more aggressive and exploratory positions within this large building here that I feel gets fairly neglected. It's kind of a complex building and it's tricky to get your head around. I have a feeling that as engineers start to learn their way around this, it's going to become more and more integral to the game. So I've found two or three positions in here that I wanted to share with you guys before we take a look at a more standard position at the very last control point. So the first position within this building is just on this little shelf here that looks over this kind of big open area. The cool thing is there's a lot of action in this open area and a lot of people come through that doorway with the arrow next to it. And for those people, um, the sentry can very easily take them out. Uh, I put my telly and dispenser just sort of hidden away behind me there. You'll find that the biggest issue here is being attacked from the stairwell. But I've noticed that this, the sentry gun can actually lock onto people at the bottom of the stairwell. So as you're seeing here, it can do a fairly decent job at taking out people coming from that way too. It's kind of a very vulnerable position and I think here, you know, a demo is on to me and takes me out fairly easily once he knows where I am. This second position, I kind of actually use a lot when I'm attacking but I thought it could be a really interesting spot for defending as well. There's a little kind of opening here where I've put my sentry gun, uh, where it does actually look over the point and it's just really unexpected. Uh, the cool thing is, I think it's a fairly decent spot for anyone coming along this corridor too, although I may need to work on exactly, you know, whereabouts I position it. Uh, the main vulnerability here is going to be that stairwell, uh, which is directly next to it, and, you know, if the demo man pokes his head out there and is aware there's a sentry gun, he shouldn't have too much of a problem taking it out. But um, it's kind of an interesting spot, I think it has a lot of potential and I kind of want to play about with this a little bit more, I haven't properly stress tested this and in this situation I think yeah a heavy and medic come along and uh, I wasn't able to save my sentry in the end. So this last uh, position I wanted to show you here, I actually found by accident as I was fleeing from that last spot it's kind of interesting that you know sometimes an unlikely position can be really successful. So what I did is I put the I just threw a sentry down in this spot here, looking out this kind of garage door thing, and um, it kind of takes out enemies coming down that stairwell really quickly and easily. So it's a pretty decent spot for the usual kind of route the enemies takes, but um, it's kind of more vulnerable for this left route here. But you have got a quick access to health and metal, which can be really useful as well. So. That was kind of a cool spot, and I just found it completely by accident. So, for a much more reliable and realistic position to be setting up at for the last point, I tend to use this spot just behind the control point. It's within this little building here with a low roof, and I tried to get my sentry as far back as possible. Uh, so it's out of any sight lines of snipers and rockets. Perhaps I could go a little bit further left with this sentry because there is, I think, a, a sight line to the right flank. But once the sentry is up, I get the set, uh, dispenser down in that corner here where it's least vulnerable. Uh, and I don't think there's really any need for a telly here as, as you're directly outside of spawn. But you can get this really quickly into level 3 uh, as this metal is right next to you. And then once you've done that, uh, any attacks on the control point should be pretty well covered. The most vulnerable uh, direction to be focusing on is the right flank. Once I'm set up, I tend to kind of explore to the right 
and check out what threats are around. It's always a good kind of idea to just hover around whichever side is your most vulnerable when you've set up a base, just to provide that extra support for that side. But yeah, this is a pretty solid position and you're bound to have lots of teammates around here so any enemies uh, getting you know near the point are already under a lot of stress and so usually it means the sentry kind of as a last line of defense can take them out. I think what we find here at the end of this uh, clip is that a yeah an Uber comes along and unfortunately can't save my sentry um, and I go down with the ship. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all the spots I wanted to show you for this first map of Snowplow. For the next video I'll be taking a look at the second map and doing pretty much the same thing. So I hope you enjoyed and I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.